Hey everyone, my name is Rhea and we are here. This is going to be week number four of the MPL and uh, we're up against Irish Emerald and this is another matchup where we have beaten him a couple times so he is definitely looking for a win against us. He has been talking a lot about how this is going to be the match where he beats me and uh, this is a really weird matchup for me. I really felt decently confident going into this matchup but uh, you can see his threads. He does have the Mega Agron. He does have... Uh, I believe this is an Ash Greninja, if I remember correctly. And uh, a Coma O, which is super duper scary. Just so many scary threats. And uh, of course, he does love his Sylveon. But for me, I'm going with a more straightforward, a much more straightforward than I normally do strategy with going for an aggressive web strategy and trying to break with Darmanitan, which uh, I believe this is going to be the first time that I bring Darmanitan. Um, this is. A little bit out of sequence for me uh, i did have a, a few recording issues so once again i will be on the other side of uh this postcom recording because uh i wasn't able to get my own battle video so i am using uh irish's code but yeah i felt like this was absolutely a matchup where i felt like i could kind of set up webs and allow darmanitan to do its thing which uh i've been kind of reluctant to do up up to this point but i felt like this is going to be the time where i tried it out i'm just going to get right into the match right now um honestly could not remember what I laid off with, but uh, I guess we're going to seem again. I am going to be on the other side of this match. Uh, this is going to be from Irish's perspective. He does lead off with the Sylveon as I go ahead and lead off with the Primarina. Now, okay, yeah, this is going to be a pretty embarrassing moment for me. I didn't really think my turn out well enough. Uh, I honestly thought that he was going to go for the Toxic on, tur on turn one, but he ends up going for Hyper Voice, and of course, uh, that pretty much renders my. A substitute useless and if I thought this play out better I probably would have gone for something different here uh, especially because hyper voice does do so much damage um, but I really did have it in my head that he was gonna go for the toxic on turn one and like I said I wish I just had another second to think about that turn regardless I can go into my mill tank here um I believe I have a decently specially defensive mill tank mill tank is just a monster for me I love uh, how defensive uh, Miltank can be and it can just be a really decent wall, but here I end up trying to go for a toxic. I imagine him to try to stay in. If anything, I kind of thought that he would try to toxic me, so I wanted to get a toxic back in return at the very least. Um, I don't remember if this particular Miltank has a heal bell, but uh, I have been really loving a Miltank set with heal bell on it, so. It wouldn't surprise me if I was just trying to hold my ground in this moment. And here, I really did fully expect us to exchange rocks. So I did set up my own rocks just to try to um, stand with this thing. And um, if anything, get some leftovers re recovery back. But uh, I didn't, in, in my head, I wasn't afraid of anything that this uh, Agron could really do that I should really be concerned with, with, uh, like I said, such a defensive mill tank, um, that generally speaking can just, uh, be such a wall. Uh, we see how much Earthquake does. Earthquake does a very decent amount, and, uh, probably more than I'm comfortable with in this moment, but, um, I don't even think I have any type of an investment in my mill tank, so I just have Seismic Toss as my only move, I'm gonna assume. But, uh, that makes me want to go out into my Scizor, in my head, as he goes for an avalanche, but in my head, right, um, I'm thinking that Scizor is a perfect wall to this Agron, and this is a, a particularly embarrassing moment where, uh, he's going to reveal that he has a fire punch, as I, well, I tried to go for the brick break, but, sorry, I got a little ahead of myself, I go for the brick break, thinking that I could win this 1v1 every time, I, I, I don't think I really have much to fear in this 1v1, but, uh, I was not thinking at all about the fire punch so so far uh, i just made two huge huge mistakes in trying to set up a sub on his pre marina and then um just not really remembering at all that um this thing could beat me 1v 1v1 with the fire punch and that uh, irish would, would uh, be very inclined to bring that in this matchup so i do just try to get off some damage with my pre marina my pre marina is honestly my best answer for this um Agron as he just brings in his his Sylveon and uh now I'm in a position I believe okay no I was gonna say I believe I have feel like I've preserved this with this premier now but I just get a moon blast off and uh just trying to get this thing whittled down because I think I realize now that uh I'm gonna have to get this thing low enough so that the rest of my team can deal with it because I don't want to be in another position where a Sylveon uh is bulky enough where he could just wall the rest of my team um, as I'm able to go into the Galvantula, uh, I can threaten this thing out now, 
Um, I, my Galvantula is still going to be a, kind of a secondary answer to the uh, Aggron, uh, and I kind of expected him to want to preserve this thing, but he doesn't. He just goes for the Hyper Voice, uh, and that just straight takes me out. Um, I probably thought that I could scare out the Sylveon, but that was just another moment. Um, well, no, if anything, I'm betting what my thought process here was that um, no matter what, uh, if the if the Galvantula goes down, my uh, my Darmanitan is my only path to victory at this point is if I put my Darmanitan in a position to potentially sweep, and the only way that I do that is um, with uh, setting up webs. But he recognizes that as much as I do, and I just go for Flavorless into Gligar, and instead of trying to Earthquake and take me out directly, he ends up going for a Defog here, which uh, is going to pretty much nullify what my uh, Galvantula tried to do. So I think he recognized as much as I did that uh, that was my only real path to victory in this moment. Um, and once the webs were gone, he really did have uh, an opening to be able to beat me uh, pretty darn freely. But like I said, uh, I really wanted... This is the kind of position that I wanted my Darmanitan to be in. And you can see even here, Darmanitan... Um, to a Victini, to a resisted Victini still does so much damage. It does over half. Um, but at this point, I can't outspeed anything on his team. So that's pretty much my only chance at breaking down his team. Uh, gone at this point. I do have one final hope. Uh, you guys know that I like uh, my Dragon Dancing Latios. So this is going to be. I felt like this is going to be my moment, right? Um. I'm, I'm, I'm in front of this uh, Victini, but I can't do a whole heck ton, a whole heck ton uh, back to me, but uh, the Glaciate drops my speed, and I need that speed to be able to take on the Greninja, but other than that, I honestly felt like one Dragon Dance put me in a fantastic position, well, I still did have to deal with the Aggron, so the Aggron does get a hit on me, 100%, but... Um, I have to, I realize now that I have to take out this Victini because I'm never going to be able to ever win with my Latios if my speed is lowered from Glaciate. So I think I was reasonably confident that he was going to go for a Glaciate this turn and my Thick Fat um, Mill Tank is going to be able to come in and basically uh, do like less damage than I get back in Leftovers. But this is going to allow him to bring in... Um, Como, oh, I expected him to want to bring in something to deal with my mill tank. Um, I'm not sure if I particularly expected the Como, but I knew that I wanted to get a Thunder Wave off on something, as uh, this does let him freely get up a Dragon Dance. And uh, I'm not going to be able to play any Paralyzed games. I tried to get off another Thunder Wave, uh, just as a final ditch effort, because um, honestly, I'm, my thinking was probably like, look, I can go down here, but if I can get a Thunder Wave off on this... Uh, on this coma o then maybe i can play with paralysis and potentially potentially play with a paralyzed turn to get myself a, a free dragon dance up and then from there that is again literally my only chance of coming out of this game with a win but uh as soon as he uh, gets two free dragon dances up and is able to lock himself out uh, into outrage that's gonna be pretty much the game and um i'm i wouldn't lie in this situation but uh, this was a pretty disappointing way to lose. Um, I feel I feel like I played myself. I feel like I did not play anywhere near um, well enough. Um, there's no really no excuse for that other than uh, I didn't come to this match with uh, my best prep, my best um, my best thought processes. I I don't feel like I thought out my turns terribly well, and my prep was abysmally lacking. So. Uh, this was a very unfortunate loss. This is a pretty rough loss, a, a 5-0 loss, but uh, we can bounce back from this, I'm pretty sure. This is also a pretty short season. It's going to be only nine weeks, so uh, I'm still in a decent position. I like where my overall positioning is, and I think I can uh, do a lot of things in this league, so I want to continue to do what I can, but at the very least, I want to try and have fun with this as much as possible, so that's going to be week four. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the APA and more weeks of the MPL. I apologize for this being late, but uh, 
all these recording issues and irish's uh battle code that was submitted into the doc was not uh, accurate so it caused a lot more delays so this video had to be delayed a whole lot longer than it needed to be but but once again thank you guys so much for watching gonna be once again out